Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this video, I want to share five tips with you that can help when you're migrating your data center from on-prem to Azure. Tip number one is do an audit or inventory of your workloads. It really is key to planning and successfully completing your migration. You've got to know what is in your environment so you can move forward. A Gartner report in 2016 said that 28% of servers within data centers can be ghost servers, which means there is a chance you have a server or two in your environment that you've completely forgotten about. And if you find a server that is a ghost server, then chances are you don't want to migrate them as though are currently sitting idle within your data center. While you're doing an inventory, you want to collect information on what the servers are, what they do, who owns them, and do they have a future within your organization? Again, the last thing you want to do is migrate a server or two when the workload is about to be replaced. Tip number two is speak to the rest of the business. Migrating to the cloud is a technical and cultural change for your organisation, so you need to make sure the business are coming on that journey with you and they understand the journey. Communication between the IT department and the rest of the business will help to ensure there is a smooth transition while you migrate to the cloud. Tip number three is understand what success looks like for your data center migration. Is it saving your organization money? Is it closing down your on-prem data center? Make sure you know what will be accepted as success within your organization. It will help to drive and keep your focus. Tip number four is that things will go wrong, but don't panic. A data center migration is a large project and there will be times when no matter how much prep or planning you do, things will go wrong. It's the nature of the beast. It could be something as simple as things have changed internally since you did your audit or something as major as an internet or a power outage. Whatever it is, learn from it. Understand how you could have dealt with it differently or anticipated it differently and feed that into the next stage of your project. Tip number five is migrating your workload to Azure is only part of the migration project. Ensure you understand how you're going to monitor, backup, protect, and plan for disasters within the cloud. You should have all these things set up for your workloads on-prem, so why wouldn't you do the same within Azure? These things are your responsibility, as well as ensuring that your documentation is updated and any support procedures are updated once the workload is in Azure. Hopefully these tips have been useful to you and if you have any others, please do share them with us. Thank you for watching.